what is going on Fi here, hope you are having a great day in today's video by popular request! The Meteor Mark III. This is the first Meteor you get I believe in the uh, British tech tree. Yeah, here it is right here, just uh, just uh, below the uh, Spitfire Griffin models. Um, I really don't have much experience with the Meteor. I have some experience with the Sea Meteor, uh, but the uh, Meteor is a very, I guess, fun plane to fly. It's been uh, buffed recently in the last like two or three patches of the game, um, and it has been uh, buffed with uh, or patched with the new air target ability uh, for the British, which are pretty much stealth rounds. I think there's, I'm pretty damn sure, um, yeah, there's no tracer shell at all in there, just kind of like stealth, I wonder what makes the air target so much better, uh, it, uh, cancels out the AP and just loads the, uh, HE high explosive fragmentary semi armor piercing incendiary shell, that thing, <laughs> That thing's loaded with fucking ex oh my gosh! So pretty much in that one round, you'll get the high the high explosive potential, the armor piercing potential, and the incendiary potential. Oh my goodness, that thing's fucking oh well, this one has it too. Hmm, maybe it's just better to shoot the uh, the HEF SAPI as fast as possible. But all right, guys, let's get into it. All right, guys. So, battle on Korea. What we can expect from this gameplay? Or LA, uh, not f yeah, LA 15s, LA 174. If anyone has that plane, uh, the MiG 9, uh, which is one of my favorite aircrafts in games. So we're gonna take 20 minutes of fuel, 300. It doesn't really matter for my gun convergence because we have nose enabled. We have our vertical targeting on just for the um, um, alignment of the uh, nose cannons. But yeah, um, the Meteor, is a, or at least the Meteor F Mark III is a very hard plane to kill on the uh, MiG-9. It's kind of like one of the most planes I fear, so hopefully uh, I can kind of turn it around and uh, pretty much experience what I go against. As we can see, we're in the grass. Very Look how fucking... This is what gets me about the, me the Meteor. Look how big the elevator is. It's enormous. I've never seen an elevator that big compared to the airplane. Okay, we're at V1, rotate, V2, gear up. And we're just gonna climb above these guys so we don't ram anybody. God, this plane's beautiful. Definitely got buffed, oh my gosh. This view gets me so nauseous right now. Oh, stop it. All right, so it looks like Tater, asked, Tater Master, what's the best way to climb the meteor? I think. Just from my experience, just a nice consistent climb with this thing's perfect. I mean, we're, over, we're we're at 15 degrees and we're gaining speed at low altitude. Um, I'm just gonna climb a little bit above, kind of like head towards this mountainous area, and then turn right and then uh, start a uh, more like a 20 degree climb. Maybe we'll level out for a little bit so we get a little bit of a zoom climb in there. And again, we have air targets on right in 780 rounds in total for four guns. Beautiful plane. Alright, let's check the F-80. He's not going to ram us. All right, let's turn in. Oh, so I guess the C Jesus also has another name. The C Disease. Damn! These names are so good. <gasps> Alright. Let's build up to about 560 kilometers an hour and then we'll start a 20 degree climb. Follow this meter a little bit. And then we're gonna start our clock. And as we can see, we're gonna shoot past this meteor. Yeah, I feel like once getting a jet above like 560 kilometers and engaging in a 20 degree climb, it really just like utilizes all its energy. And as it climbs, it goes through, you know, it, it can become faster as it climbs, or more efficient. Especially this altitude, you know, granted you get, you know, so high than the plane service ceiling. Wow, we were almost already at 3K, holy shit. So it has a hard time keeping speed though at 20 degrees, which is, hmm. Yeah, it's losing a lot of airspeed right now. We might level off. Level off right here. 
gain some speed back and do it all over again. But pretty much we're at 3,200. This is pretty much like, this is, this is not like engagement altitude, but this is pretty much where the dogfights happen, so we have that already checked off. Okay, IO 28s in the game, those things are scary. The thing is, is like, you, you think like you're like, you know, okay, you know, I'm off to his left, you know, he can't shoot, but that back gunner has literally like 180 degrees of uh, able fire from the rear. It's ridiculous how much that uh, twin 23 mil can rotate. Okay, let's check map. All right, we're pretty much almost time for the turn in. And I'm going to turn in right about now. I'll level off here, gain some speed in case I need to climb really quickly. Now, the wing rip, I think this plane's like, you know, full G, like 620. So, uh... This guy's talking about my, my Fuso video and how I had really good aim. Dude, guys, that uh, Fuso video, I had 100k each game. Granted, you know, Fuso you know, should be like tier 8 or something, but I'm, I'm not complaining. All right, MiG-9. Light pillbox destroyed by MiG-9. Okay. Okay. That means they're going to be over here. We're kind of... We're going to descend to probably... Oh, yeah, and we have air brakes. I haven't used air brakes in so long because all I do is fly out the MiG-9. Um, yeah. God, I'm, I'm mind blown right now. That's so, that's so efficient. Okay, there's a MiG-9. Perfect. All right, good luck. Good luck, me. P80, heads up, bro. Now, we can definitely outturn the MiG-9, at least at lower air speeds. The thing where the MiG-9 really achieves that is compression turning. Dropping the air brake with full power. A lot of people ask me why I do that sometimes, and the reason why is because I like to keep my RPMs up while slowing down. Does that make sense? Big Nine is a fast piece of machinery. Wow. Okay. Their targets are fucking crazy. That was that was really weird. Guys, the MiG-9 is not hard to fly. Goodness, two kills already down. Very good. We have an IL-28 that's going to be able to outrun us, I'm pretty sure. And there's one guy around here, yeah. Okay. Holy shit, you, have, you need no time on targets for these air targets. It's Okay, so now the IL-28 can potentially shoot me right now at this angle. Isn't that nuts? Now hopefully it doesn't bomb out all our bases, because that would be fucking epic. I think this game has lasted only like 20, not 20, uh, like 8 minutes, so hopefully he can't do that. But he can definitely outrun us. We're going to approach or uh, go for a climb now. Alright, so pretty much it's cleanup duty right now. Yeah, we're in very good very good uh, standard right now. Uh, we need to just keep an eye out for a MiG-9 that is, you know, yeah, there he is. He can be dangerous, boys. He can definitely, you know, the snapshot ability of the MiG-9 is ridiculous. I'm actually going to turn right now because I just don't, I want to cut off his engagement. There we go, we're right behind him. We, don't, we, we won't have anyone behind us to look after. Okay, engine overheat, okay. 
Ooh, baby. Tater almost ate one right there. You can definitely outclimb the MiG. I'm sure of that. And we gotta watch our engine temperature. We're re oh my god, how does metal. Okay, hang on, maybe we can get this guy real quick. That negative G pull. He, he did some like weird maneuver. I thought I thought he was about to go heads up with me for a second. <laughs> Why not try it? All right, let's cool this engine off. We pulled some pretty newbie maneuvers right there, but I wanted to get the IL-28 out of the game as fast as possible. Come on, Flaps. Bring us down. Good land to the plane stalled so weirdly in this game. We need at least 400 kilometers of speed to even engage again. We're going to dive. R15. This is him. Roger that. Now, the reason why I have three on him, or that I'm engaging with three of us, is because the MiG-9 can easily outplay the uh, P80 and F80 if he does it right. So I just kind of want to be there just in case um, we need like a third opinion. Yeah, the. Okay, nice job, P80. Nice job. Well done. Turn him back around. Now we gotta watch our fuel. Uh, M12 is the uh, IL-28. Good job, P80 and F80. You impressed me. Yes, yeah, so this plane's kind of uh, OP at its tier. It gets its proper matchmaking. We have nine minutes of fuel. Just keep a heads up for that. This plane is a joy to fly. I'm, a, oh, I'm having fun, boys. Like, sometimes when he asks me to fly planes, you know, I'm like, ah, don't really want to fly that one. Especially the P-51. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That thing is so gross. You know, guys, all right, there we go. Good job, Tater. Literally, all the P-51 the P is for is for the hipsters who think they're so good at the game to be like, yeah, I think my favorite plane is the P-51. And I'm just like, shut the fuck up. I mean, some people are actually really good with it, okay? Um... Yeah, but it's just one of those planes like, yeah, you know, I like that band because no one else likes it, you know, it's a hipster thing. If you, if you're telling me that you can take your P-51 against my D-13 and achieve snapshots as epically as the D-13 can, yeah, forget about it. Fucking forget about it. Lol, p o p Alright, so, uh, this IL-28 is critted by a Tater, so I kind of want him to get the kill. We can see him flying right here. Um, light pillbox destroyed by... Okay, roger that. We're going to pull back around. Hope we don't ram this. All right, good. Now, where are our light pillbox? I'm, I'm, I'm just watching the turn right now, man. I'm scared of this. Damn it, damn it. Why did he fucking crash? We have a light pillbox destruction. If we can't kill two out of 20s, I'm going to be pedoed. There we go. Good job. He's fucked. Now, our last pillbox should be over here around A, right? Now, we're below 6 kilometers, so we should be able to spot him pretty easily. Okay, there he is. Is that... Is that, is that yeah, okay. I don't think we have the capacity to catch up with an IL-28 unless he turns, which he is. I love that view right there. Holy 9 Gs! Good Lanta!
Okay, luckiest gameplay ever. I thought I was going to uh, get him in the first engagement, but uh, um, I missed a lot of my shots there and just kind of noob behind him to get the kill. What's your other P80 at? Okay, you know what? We've got five minutes of fuel. I'm going to let this P80 go to work. We're going to land and uh, be nice to our pilot this game. Pretty good gameplay. Three kills. I'll take that. Woo -woo. Kind of kind of shitty uh, engagement on the Isle 28, but like, literally the things are so hard to engage. <laughs> Supposedly we have critted the uh, ILO 28, that one that's still flying four times. You know what's really strange, guys? Is that, you know the normal 23 millimeter, that the, uh, like, the, the Yak 3P, the Yak 3, the uh, LA, LA 5, LA 9? It really doesn't do that much damage compared to the ILO-28 back gunners, and I feel like they just bust buff the fuck out of the plane. Yeah, so as we can see, our right wing is a little bit damaged here, so at high speeds it's fine, but uh, once we get to low airspeed, uh, our plane will be more susceptible to drag. That makes sense. I don't know if that's how you really word it properly. Got to be careful with our airspeed. I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna be landing with 80% or like high thrust with air brakes out. Combat flaps. Air brakes out. Engine power up. Well, I'm definitely not putting landing flaps down yet. Gear out. Plenty, God, this plane gets so damn dirty on final. Enemy forces have captured a zone. And that's game. AI units capture a, a zone with a four credit Isle 28 GG War Thunder. <laughs> This game, man, this game rewards the weak. Needs to reward the powerful. Anyways, good game. So let's see who let let's see who won that for their team here. Let's see how epic his gameplay was. Nice RP though. It was this guy. So five ground units, and you win the game, boys. But yeah, we did really good that game. All right, guys, you know the drill. In the uh, comment box, box below, vote on for what plane you want me to take out next. Until next time, guys. Peace. <laughs>